Hey, it's Wabbit. Good to be back with you. I do hope this finds you well. Got a little talky video talking about my experience with the latest update to the iOS platform, 17 that is, and how things are working as it relates to messing around with music making apps. Now, I don't use the iPhone uh, in that capacity, so I can't speak to that. So for those of you who use the iPhone, maybe somebody else can better address that. I use the iPad. What you see here in front of you is the iPad mini. Uh, it's the, what is it? The iPad mini six, I believe, whatever that version was. Um, so it's not an M1. And in my experience, long story short, no issues, uh, including external uh, things. What I mean by that, really what my focus on is, is in terms of dongles. Uh, that's always the uh, chance that we take when there's an update that uh, a dongle will become a brick. And I've acquired a few, uh, but I have really one go-to dongle, maybe two, and both of those are working without issues. So from that standpoint, uh, all systems are go. Uh, in terms of the applications, my main focus is AUM. If AUM works, that's a good start. And then I just went through and loaded the apps that I primarily use. Now, I could get into those. Uh, feel free to ask a question if you want in terms of, hey, does this app work? Because there's just that would just take too long. And we all use different kind of apps. So don't take this as a video that, yep, it's time to go update. So this is where I want to uh, share with you what I've said before, what many have said before, that if your current workflow is working for you, uh, and especially if you are someone who is serious, who is a professional, who is counting on this to keep the lights on for you, then I would wait. And what that wait is, I don't know that there is a definitive answer. You ask one person, they're going to say a week. You ask somebody else, they're going to say six months. You ask another person, they're going to say never. <laughs> so <laughs> that is just the nature of this game where you do the best you can in terms of your research. You ask around. You look at the forums. You can go to Audiobus uh, website. There's iPad Musician on Facebook group, <laughs> YouTube here. You do the best you can, and then if you feel like you need to. Now, I will say this, and I'm a big fan of Apple and the ecosystem. I personally see nothing in here in terms of iOS 17 that, is going to make your life easier as a musician or producer. A little bit of a side tangent rant here. I think these are typically cosmetic type updates. I saw nothing in there that talked about anything for musicians. Now, the other thing that I've heard, and I can't speak to this because I don't use Logic Pro, is that I've seen some reports of people having issues with Alchemy not working. So, again... Do your research on that. I can't speak to it because I can't test it for you. All I can say is from a hobbyist perspective, and I'm probably the, the person you shouldn't even take this advice because for me, I'm, I'm a noodler. I'm a hobbyist. I, I don't rely on this. If something were not to work, I have other gear that I can use. Yet I am aware that there are people who are on the other end of the spectrum that use this to make music and rely upon it, which you can do. So that's it. I don't need to talk any further. I'm not having any issues, but that does not give you the green light to update if you're hesitant or you've had some bad experiences or you potentially have some shady third-party dongles. <laughs> what I mean by that is you go on Amazon, you buy the cheapest one you can, it, it, it's floating you by, and then an update comes along and it's dead in the water. So uh, proceed with caution. However... I've not had any issues. So take it for what you want. I hope something in here helped you out. Get out there. Have a lot of fun. Stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. And I do hope to catch you in another video. And until then, take care.